Connoisseur Winery in Chile is one of the most environmentally friendly wineries in the world. Awarded carbon neutral delivery status in 2007, the team goes to great lengths to make top quality wines as naturally as possible, including using geese instead of pesticides in the vineyards, travelling around the estate on a bicycle rather than using cars. Sustainability is at the heart of Connoisseur's winemaking philosophy, as winemaker Mateus Rios explains. For us it's very important to send uh, one message for the world. We can get a very uh, interesting wine, very uh, innovative wine with a high quality but low impact. Organic and no emission of CO2. It's very important for us. With awareness of the sustainability movement growing, as more and more people choose to grow their own produce, eat locally produced food and eat food that's in season, Connoisseur decided to investigate the principles of sustainable food and wine matching. Linking up with top chef and author Paul Merritt, Mateus brought together a panel of experts to taste seasonal dishes with Connoisseur's sustainably produced wines to define the great varieties which work best with each season's produce. Pairing wines with foods to match the seasons is increasingly important. So seasonality is very important. As a restaurant, we're, we have to be very on top of the seasons. Late spring, early summer is asparagus. Berries are very much summer. Root vegetables and brassicas are autumn and winter. From my point of view of, as a chef, that's the way I cook. I approach everything seasonally. Uh, and it's really good to know that these guys are approaching wine seasoning. For me, spring is all about really crunchy vegetables, um, very fresh tasting fruit. Something like asparagus, when it's in, we use it all the time, we use it to death. It's a fantastic vegetable. The best match seemed to be the Sauvignon Blanc, simply because it was floral and it had a very nice lime lemon zestiness and then but it was creamy as well and uh, delicate. It didn't dominate the food, it was just very nicely balanced. There's a certain kind of pale delicate sweetness to, to spring and that's why I love it so much. Flavours of summer, so courgettes, strawberries, tomatoes, it's a no-brainer. Smoked fish and Chardonnay are just one of the most classic matches you can have. Actually, the um, Carmenere is the one that absolutely nailed it and was really that smoky flavour, sort of really accentuated the smokiness of the fish and the textures. It just all really worked, so that was quite surprising for me and I think for the group as well. Pinot Noir in general um, is very, very useful summer wine to have. It's one of the lighter red grape varieties that you can chill down and works very well chilled. So it works well with salads, bright, fresh flavours. Autumn is all about savouriness, it's about umami, so, so it's typified by mushrooms and truffles, there's a richness because things have come to the end of their, their ripening sequence, it's when the wine harvest comes in, it's when the grapes are ripe, so things attain a richness and a ripeness, it's just absolutely wonderful, I think that's why in autumn you can eat like a king. For me, autumn is all about Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is great, but it crosses the red and white divide. It's, it has the elegance of a white wine, but it's got the, the richness and, and kind of the scent of a red. It works brilliantly well with a lot of the food that autumn has, the, the richness of game, the earthiness of game, the mushroomy flavours, all that sort of richness that Pinot Noir is absolutely wonderful with. much more about earthy flavours, slow cooked flavours, um, the sort of the, the sweetness of root vegetables, onions, parsnips, celery, that kind of thing. Uh, these are honey roast parsnips. We've got some cabbage cooked in cream with bacon here, which is lovely. We're making a dobe of beef, which is a 
very classic French stew. And that is what that is there. The Reds were very, very dominant, and if I had to pick one out of a group of good contestants, it would be it would be the Merlot. There's just something lovely about it. It's got that sort of nice bitter tanniness that dissolves as soon as you show a piece of red meat. And then it's got a wonderful kind of black currant fruitiness. It's very refreshing, very, very good with food. But I really, really enjoy uh, the Pinot Noir with the uh, uh, fresh mushroom you have here, or also the asparagus with the Sauvignon Blanc. As people get more and more into growing their own food, I can only see them paying more attention to what they drink with what they produce. After all, if you spent three, six, nine, twelve months even producing a patch from which you make your own vegetables and fruit, then it's worth spending that extra minute or two, and that's all you need to pick a wine that will perfectly match those ingredients that you've sweat so hard to grow and produce in your own garden. Fresh picked, fresh wine, you've got to do it. Do you think about uh, choosing your wines for the seasons? Do you think about when you go to the yeah. shops or when you pick them from your garden, you're going to get these lovely fresh fruits and vegetables? Do choose the right wine, but it, you don't have to be too picky about it. I think the most important thing is that you should enjoy it.